Have you ever just wanted to pull up to an electric vehicle charger and not be naffing around with an app, an RFID card, and just plug and charge? Well, EV has just made it possible. So in this video, I'm gonna test out my Tesla Model Y and a 2020 MG ZS EV. This thing is primitive, <laughs> so I've got my doubts about it. Will it be able to charge? Let's find out and talk about the tech behind it. All right, so what's this whole thing about and why is it so special? What EV has done here is essentially what Charon can do in Europe and also maybe in America, I'm not very sure, but in Australia right now, if you've got like a Hyundai, a Mercedes, BMW, things like that, they've got this in the settings, but no charging company in Australia has enabled it. And I'll explain why later in the video. So first, we actually need to charge this car a few times because I haven't charged it with EV, I believe since, well, I don't know whenever it was, but they need me to actually plug in so they know what this car is and uh, associate it with my account. And then after it goes, okay, I've got the details I need, next time I plug it in, it will just start charging. I don't need to do any app, I don't need to do any RFID, and I bloody well cannot wait. So let's do, let's get charging, let's, let's plug in. 12 seconds later. Okay, that's been a minute. I figured that's long enough. I'll just hit the uh, stop button. Wait for it to let go. And that's that. Okay, I'll put this back. And uh, now we'll see if the app's gonna let me do it next time. So let's just go back to here, my profile, get auto charge. It says my car is compatible, auto charge. Get it. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Confirm past sessions. So it's asking me, uh, select up to five charge sessions you know, and so we, we can recognize when you're plugging next time. So that was me, and that was me. Cool. So it, did, it even noted the session that failed, so that's good. So it's asking me that it's not a rental, that it's a unique ID from this car and it'll be stored on my account for EV. Uh, activating it, I'll automatically be charged by EV. Uh, if I lose or surrender access to the car, it's my responsibility to remove it from the app. That com makes complete sense. And that I can have it removed anytime. Okay, cool. Great, it's activated. All right, this is gonna be exciting for you. Okay, ready? Um, so, let's go. All right. I'm not using the app. And top tip, by the way, because these are so heavy, hold it until it grabs it and it starts charging. Um, you will sometimes find it says successful, waiting for it. It's got the blue little talky talky thingy. It's having a bit of a conversation. That's what these do when they're rapid charging. Wait, wait for it. This is, this is so suspenseful. It's so suspenseful and it's charging. This is where we do the victory dance. And <laughs> we start a party. Um, that's awesome. This is the Tesla supercharger experience. So now I can just go to EV plug it in and start charging. And that's really awesome. Uh, so I reckon, okay, this is a modern electric vehicle, but at home, I've got my 2020 MG ZS EV that has very poor charge management in it. And also um, it, it's not connected to the cloud. So this, as I understand it, is actually um, just had a bit of a conversation when it plugged in, by the way, and it said, okay, what's your Mac address? I kid you not. What's your MAC address? What's going through here is not just electricity, it's actually um, got some communication through the CCS standard. And um, it, it can exchange things like VIN number, which is what I thought was happening, but supposedly it's, it's also learned its MAC address. The car has got a MAC address, get that. If you don't know what that is, Google it. <laughs> anyway, so this is very different to Charin, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I reckon let's stop this charge because we, we've demonstrated it works, brilliant and uh, we'll go get the MG and repeat the process. I'm letting my daughter drive. Um, she's on her L's. <laughs> so if I suddenly scream in this section, apologies in advance. Anyway, um, I thought this would be a good moment to talk about the Charon uh, standard because that's been around for quite a while and that's like a group 
that have standardized um, the plug-in the plug -in charge ability for cars. And just give me a second, that was 40 back there. <laughs> She did 50 folks, but it was a school zone, but on a Saturday. Yeah, it's a Saturday. Yeah, but it's, it's signposted as always 40 k's per hour. Oh. So you have to do 40. Anyway, anyway, um, this does not act as evidence for the police. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> um, so, uh, charring, okay. Uh, that's like, uh, um, uh, how can I put it best? It's an international grid standard and um, a lot of different uh, car companies have signed up to it, like Hyundai, Kia, BMW, you name them. Almost everyone is in there, I'm pretty certain of it, including Tesla. And they um, they had this international standard called the, hang on a second, checks notes. It's the um, 15118 protocol. That's the ISO, mm, so sexy, right? And what they do is they, um, when you set up your car, and you're, you might have seen some of my footage before, you tell it, okay, here's me, here's my account. You set up an account with Charon, basically. And then when you go to any EV charger, doesn't matter, it, doesn't, it could be in Australia, it could be Charge Fox, it could be EV, it could be any brand you want. We're about to go past a Kia EV9, by the way. Amazing. Anyway, um, <laughs> and if those companies have agreed to support, and will rather actually more importantly, if let's say Hyundai has agreed to support the plug and charge standard, and uh, the charging company that you go to has also got it, because you've already got that set up, that set up with Charin, you know, plug and charge has already been set up with Charin, if I could use my words properly. When you plug and charge, you will automatically, they have a bit of a talky talky, the car shares its credentials, Charin says, yes, you've got an account, you've got a Visa card with me or a MasterCard, whatever, and your charge will occur. That means you need not have an account with ChargeFox or EV or any other provider because what's realistically happening here is that Charin has your account details and your de debit details. So it's all very secure, everything's protected and um, very much removed from the charger, the, the charge provider as well as the car company. It's, it's a third party that's handling the stuff behind the scenes. But I think what's happening here is actually very different. As I said before, um, it's using the MAC address of your car, which is pretty unique. So in this MG ZSEV, is it gonna work? Well, supposedly it says we can. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So we're going back now and we'll test it out. We're back and now we've got the MG ZSEV. And can I just uh, put a bit of a suggestion to EV? Um, for those like us who have got two cars, I know, first world problem, why can't I have two cars in my profile? Because now I've got to ditch the Tesla and I've got to go add my MG ZSEV. Um, if I could type properly, <laughs> 2020, yes and I can't remember my own register. Okay, U562, yes. All right, so I'm adding it, which is frustrating. Again, why can't we just have two that we can choose from? And it says that this is compatible. Auto charge, get auto charge, and it will say to me, hey, you haven't had enough charging sessions, so that's completely fine. Now, here's a top tip for those new two electric vehicles. Get yourself one of these RFID cards from your charge provider. So EV do these, Charge Fox, and this means I can just tap and pay it's an RFID card, you know, like tap and pay that used to be credit cards. Same sort of thing, but this is my account, my details that enables me to charge without me having to do anything. Okay, so get one of these. All right, plugged in, it's charging, and again, RFID is so much easier. It means that if let's say the screen is stuffed or your mobile phone has no reception, it will still work. And uh, that's my default go-to. And uh, yeah, get one of those cards, highly recommend it. Anyway, charging for not even one minute. In fact, just one minute right now. So I'm going to stop it and we're going to see if we can associate with, um, you know, the car now. So let's give it a good hot go. Yep, we're back. All right, get auto charge. It's compatible. Yes. And what time is it, folks? It's 11.08. That's the one. Confirm and it's asking the usual stuff as before. 
get auto charge. If this works, I'm gonna be amazed. Activated. Okay, no app, no RFID card. We're just gonna plug it in and it should and it should charge straight away. I am shocked. We are charging and I did not use the app. I did not tap and pay. I'm just astounded that it even worked because my 2020 MG ZSEV is not connected to the cloud. There's no SIM in it. There's no data connectivity. It's a very basic electric vehicle, yet it's still working. So I reckon maybe it's not the MAC address. Maybe it's actually exchanging a VIN number. And if I can find out from EV by the time I publish this video, I'm going to write it down below, below um, like what the answer is, because this, this I'm astounded it's even working. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome and all. Now, a few caveats, and there always is, isn't there? Um, this isn't uh, able to be done at all electric vehicle charging stations by EV. And they'll show up on the map which ones are and are not. So just be mindful of that. And I guess as maybe some of the technology gets changed out or changed in or upgraded, more and more will become available. But nonetheless, this is now mimicking the experience I get with my Tesla in my MG, which is brilliant. And being able to just go to any EV charger, well, you know, the brand EV, and just plug and charge without naffing around, awesome, love it. So, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Super thanks, is really appreciated. Behind the scenes through Kofi, because I love my coffee. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe and I'll see you soon.